It's a weighty little bugger. Premium audio. Of course, the first brand you're gonna think of is BenQ. I've checked out some of their office equipment. I like their professional displays. They've got some cool lamps. Honestly, I wouldn't have thought of them for a Bluetooth speaker, yet here we are with the Travolo S, a meaty little wireless audio option with a couple fun tricks I haven't seen before. Now we gotta jump right into those tricks. The Travolo's claim to fame is this is a hybrid electrostatic speaker setup. These panels swivel out, a thin membrane inside is what generates sound. And then there are two small woofers, each powered by their own 12 watt amp. I'm not gonna go too deep into the physics, but electrostatic speakers are a really interesting audio solution. They can be super thin, they create less distortion, but the trade off is they can be pretty weak for low frequency sound, hence, the hybrid design with dual woofers. I'd normally start with all the techie bits, but we really should start with sound quality. I really appreciate how restrained BenQ is with bass. Uh, too many times with these little room filler speakers, I think companies tune a bunch of low end on speaker elements that can't really handle it. So the bass attack is dull and floppy, and then all you can hear is the muddy bass decay farting all over the rest of the mids. BenQ isn't even trying to go fat. Frequency response stops at 60 hertz. It's a natural built-in roll-off. You're done. All of the power of these dual woofers is gonna be on the attack. So when you combine that with the little electrostatic panels, this is an aggressively articulate solution for a Bluetooth speaker. Sharp, fast, attack, attack, attack. But it's still not like nice studio monitors. It's not accurate to the point of being clinical. There is some color there. And listening to a variety of pop, dance, rock, and jazz, I just kept coming back to sweet. It's this light, bright, sweet sound perfect for a medium-sized bedroom. My OK Go torture test passed with flying colors, where WTF can sound like a mess of muddy distortion. This was all razors, and the highs never got to that painful, piercing, brittle sound that I hate on some other lower-cost speakers. Uh, Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of, sounded great. It's such an expertly mixed album, and the BenQ benefited from that attention around guitar distortion and how wonderfully tight the drums are mixed. Witten Marsalis, Village Van Guard, beautiful color on the trumpets and the horns, but when a clarinet popped up in Happy Feet Blues, it really did. It made me stop hard and just, I had to pay attention to that. It was such a light, bright sound. Even for some of my concerns on a setup like this, club mixes, electronica, it's not weak, it's just a different take on say, Daft Punk. Robot rock comes in lighter and it's more playful. Like it might lose some of its edge, but it's a fresh feel, exactly where you don't want something like Daft Punk to get too muddy or dull. I'm trying to not make this sound like magic, but I'm very impressed with the effect for a small portable wireless speaker. It's in that last bit of rumble where some folks might be a little disappointed. Like taking it back to some jazz, horns and woodwinds are crystal. And that initial pluck of a string on an upright bass is delicious, but then you might not quite get that warm follow through, the reverberations of the bass decay on that instrument that wrap around you like a duvet. I'm getting really flowery here with this description. I, I know it's a bit much, but I really haven't heard a portable like this before. So. Yeah, it sounds really good. It's just, it takes a little bit of explaining because it also sounds a little different. The rest of the tech stuff is on point. When wireless BenQ rates this for 18 hours of playback, on my very first listen through, I got somewhere closer to 16. Um, not exact, but this is an easy all day performer. And considering the speaker fins, how they swivel out, the Travolo is really well built. The hinges are smooth. The bottom of this is very weighty and it's enough to keep vibrations from audio wiggling the rest of the build. I have some durability concerns with the panels folding to the sides of the unit. Now BenQ includes a cute little carry pouch, but dropping it on its side would probably mean damage to the speaker membranes. Maybe, I don't know, I don't do drop tests. But the overall aesthetic is super clean. I think it looks really good. And the top mounted controls are really easy to use. Tap and pair with NFC, power play, pause, volume controls, and a little mode button. BenQ hypes up a 3D audio feature, which is fun. I mean, if you've got my previous audio reviews, I'm not the biggest fan of 3D modeling on music, but the reverb and widening effects are 
kind of fun on movies. Uh, maybe also if you're using this to play some games. I listened mostly over Bluetooth, but the Travolo does have a 3.5 millimeter input jack. And another fun trick I'm happy to see more frequently these days, you can also hook up the Travolo over USB. It's a micro USB port, but it will show up as a USB audio device on any computer that supports USB audio. So we should probably wrap this up. Where's that leave us with the BenQ Travolo S? Okay, this little puppy, this ain't cheap. There's a ton of decent competition for speakers out there, especially in this space. The Travolo S is a great room filler. I'm not sure it'd be my first pick as an outdoor solution, or if you wanted a bit more power for a larger space. It can totally do some traveling if you wanna play some music out and about, but I'd maybe be looking at Ultimate Ears or JBL if I wanted that fat punch. But what these other tube speakers or single driver speakers can't do is deliver this kind of clarity. If there's something I wish this solution had at this price, I wish more players in this tier were including Wi-Fi. You know, what I loved about Chromecast Audio, I'd really like to be able to fire up a music app or my music collection on my NOS and have that stream over Wi-Fi directly to the speaker without my phone needing to be directly connected. I think the Travolo is good enough that a feature like that would be a really handy perk. So color me impressed. I think this is a great looking option. It's a unique twist on a wireless speaker and I really like what I hear. I'll of course leave some links down below where you can find more info on the BenQ Travolo S. Maybe shop one of these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these reviews and subscribing to my channel. So many fun audio toys coming to this channel in the next couple weeks, going hand in hand with my hashtag 2020 hearing campaign not only how we can protect our hearing, but also feed our ears some higher quality content. Now, if you would like to help support the production of these reviews, these conversations, there are links below, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. It's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals. We get into some great conversations about audio and music, and they're a huge resource for me planning future content. They're really good people. I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.